stretching routine incorporates a little yoga and some Pilates. Stretching is good for improving your flexibility. It also reduces your levels of stress and it alleviates some of the muscle soreness you may feel after running or after a hard workout. It also improves your balance. So the first stretch we're going to do today is just your basic hamstring stretch. So you just want to bend over, put your arms behind your back, and just lean forward, keep your back straight, stretching those hamstrings. And if you want to add a little stretch in your back and your shoulders, you can bring your arms up. You'll hold this stretch for about 15 to 20 seconds. You can hold it each stretch for as long as 30 if you're feeling a lot of tightness, but what you don't want to do is you don't want to feel your muscles pull. Now we're going to go into our wide toe touch stance. So you want to have your feet, your legs wide apart, have your hands out to your side. You want to keep your arms extended and you just want to reach over and touch the opposite foot, foot with your opposite hand. Always keeping your arms straight, twisting out your torso. This is not a fast movement, this is just a slow movement just to stretch your hamstrings, your glutes, a little bit of stretching in your obliques and your arms and your shoulders as well. Remember just to keep those arms straight, a nice slow motion. You can do this anywhere from 15 to 30 seconds. A great stretch for your hip flexors is the twisted lunge. So you just want to get into your lunge position. You don't need to go really deep far down, just enough to get your, your leg bent. Take that opposite elbow and press against that knee. Opening up those hip flexors, stretching that glute. And this also this will work on your, your balance as well. You just want to do the same thing on the other side. So you can switch that lunging leg, add that opposite elbow to that knee, and then just gently push until you feel the stretch. Hold that anywhere from 15 to 30 seconds. Now we're going to go into our downward dog. So you want to get into a downward dog position. Feet are about shoulder width apart, knees straight, arms right underneath your shoulders, tuck that chin in, your head goes straight down. If you feel a little extra pull in your glutes, you can twist your hips just a little bit, just get a little swivel in there, just to have an extra stretch, but not too much. To feel an extra stretch in your calf, in your calf and your hamstring, bend that right knee lean forward a little, and again, you want to get an extra stretch in your calf and in your hamstring. Straighten that right knee, bend your left knee, stretching, get an ex getting an extra stretch in your calf and hamstring of your right leg. Straighten both knees. Now you want to go into your leg extension. So you want to lift that left leg up. Keep that straight and line with your back and your head. Hold your leg up. Then you want to drop that foot down, opening up that hip. Back up and down. And do the same thing with your right leg. Extend it all the way up. And then drop your foot down, opening up your hip, getting a stretch in your quad as well. And then back down. The next stretch is the pigeon pose. So you just want to get down, tuck your foot underneath your thigh. I'm going to start with my right foot. Get that left leg back. Or she want to sit up. Opening up that chest. 
and then lean forward and get a nice long stretch in your shoulders and your back and then your legs. Then you'll sit back up and from there you just want to do the twist. So you'll just twist around, open your chest up, bring that foot up as close to your butt as you can. And then hold that pose, stretching that quad. And then release. And you'll just switch sides. Do the same thing on the other side. Get that foot underneath. Or you just want to sit up, opening up that chest. Then slowly lean forward. Sit back up, twist, grab that left foot, and bring it to your butt. You want to maintain this position, opening up that chest, and stretching that quad. From there, you'll want to go into your child's pose. Just get on your hands and knees. Extend your arms out in front of you and then just stretch back. Resting your butt on your feet, pulling your arms straight out in front of you. Hold this for 15 to 30 seconds. Gives you a really good stretch through your back and through your shoulders and arms and your glutes as well. The next stretch is your tuck and extension. So down on your hands and your knees, take your right knee, pull it up to your chest, hold it, and then take that right leg and extend it up above you. Give you a nice stretch in your, your glutes, hamstrings, and your quads. Do the same thing with your left leg, pull it to your chest, hold that, tuck in your chin, and then extend that leg above. A good way to stretch your calves is with a plank calf stretch. So you want to get into your plank position or your push-up position. Make sure your body is straight. Take your right foot, rest it on that left calf and press down slightly and slowly bring your heel to the ground. Just feel a slight stretch in your calf. You don't want to feel a pull, you just want to feel a slight stretch. Go back into your push-up position, put your left foot on your right calf, and lower that right heel until you feel that stretch in your calf. The bird dog is a great stretch they use in Pilates. Again, this is on all your hands and your knees. So keep that back straight. And you just want to extend the opposite arm and opposite leg. So we'll start with your right arm out and left leg out, keeping your back, leg, and arm straight. This helps you with your balance as well as your flexibility. And then just switch sides. Again, left arm out, right leg back, keeping arm and leg straight with your back. The Pilates saw is a great way to get a great stretch in your legs. So what you want to do is just spread your legs, reach up with your hands, and then touch your opposite foot with your, hand, with your opposite hand. So left hand goes to right foot, 
Open up your chest. Have your left hand, your right hand behind you. And then just switch. Right hand to left foot. And you just want to go back and forth. Hold each position for about five seconds. Not too long. You don't want to pull anything. And then you switch. Now if you need an extra stretch, you can always flex your feet. And that will give you an extra little stretch in your hamstrings and your calves. So you just go back and forth slowly, holding each stretch for about five seconds. The single leg hamstring stretch is a great way to stretch one leg at a time. So you just want to tuck in, I'm going to start with my right foot, I'm going to tuck in that right foot and then lean forward to your left leg, stretch that hamstring. Hold this for about 15 to 20, maybe even 30 seconds. Then you want to sit up. Adjust your position just a little, then lean towards that right leg, keeping your knee bent. Maybe tuck your foot under just a little and get a good stretch in your glute. This will stretch your right glute. And then sit back up. And you want to do the same thing with the other leg. So tuck that left foot in. Extend your right leg. Lean forward. If you want an extra stretch, you can always flex your foot. Feel a little in your calf and in your hamstring. And then sit up. And then from there, you can go straight into your glute stretch. Again, tuck your foot under just a little. And then just lean forward to stretch that left glute. You should feel a nice, good stretch in your butt. The next stretch is the butterfly to open up your, your adductors, your adductors, your inner thighs. So you want to bring your feet together. Hold them with your hands, sit up. Have a gentle press against your inner thighs. Not so much that you feel your muscles pulling, but just have a gentle press. And that's just to stretch those inner thighs. And then from the butterfly pose, you just wanna pull your feet out just a little, keep them together, but put them out about maybe five, five inches or so. Grab your feet and lean forward, rolling your shoulders forward and tucking your chin in to get a good stretch through your hips. The cobra is a, a great stretch for your chest and your back and your glutes as well. You just want to get into your position. Your hands by your chest, and then just stretch out, opening up that chest, looking up, squeezing those shoulder blades together. And then slowly go back down. And push back up, opening up your chest, flexing your back. To do this for about maybe five to six times. Down, and then back up. And just holding the position for five to ten seconds. The torso twist is a great way to get a twist all throughout your hip flexors and your obliques. So you'll lie on your back, hands out to the side, and then just Roll, your, roll both of your knees to your right. 
So you're stretching up your side and you're also stretching your legs as well. If you want an additional stretch, you can always look the opposite way. And then just switch sides, rolling your knees over to your left. Stretching through your oblique. And again, if you want an extra stretch, then just look the opposite way that your knees are pointed. This is a great stretch for your obliques, your back, and your glutes. The knee tucks are a great stretch for your glutes and as well as your back. So you just want to lie on your back, bring your knees to your chest, and just pull with your arms. And if you don't feel like you're getting enough of a stretch, extend your legs and pull your knees to your chest. So again, you have two options for that stretch. You can bring your knees to your chest, or extend your legs, bringing your knees to your chest for an even more stretch. To get a great stretch in your glutes, do the glute stretch lying on your back. You're going to begin on your back, cross that right foot over your left knee, and then just pull that left leg forward. You're going to feel that right here in your hamstrings and in your glutes. And then just switch left knee over your left foot over your right knee and then pull. Just a gentle pull. Enough to stretch. Not enough to pull that muscle but just, just a nice good stretch. and then release. Then you'll just want to finish your stretching routine by lying on the ground and just give your body a nice full body stretch, extending your arms and your legs. I like to describe this as if you're looking at one of those old western movies and, and uh, where a man is being tied, his hands are tied to one horse and his feet are tied to another and he's being pulled apart. I know that's not a very good description but you want to stretch with your waist, stretch, stretch in your waist, your abs, your obliques, and just let that naturally pull your shoulders, arms, and legs, and hips. Just a really good body stretch. Relax your breathing. Then sit up, and then lean forward, and just touch your toes, rolling your shoulders and your back, and taking in your chin. way to end your stretching routine.